So uh, I just recently did a cross-country uh, road trip, helping my dad move uh, from Florida back up here. So uh, in doing so, I, I thought of this video because weighing on my mind the whole way was um, concealed carry and personal defense. Um, and that is because I didn't check a bag when I flew down there, so I could just get there, get car loaded, and come back. Um, so he had a boat gun down there that he kept, a little 380 Caltech, and I shot it when he got it, and I, you know, showed him how to use it and did all that. And it's okay. I mean, it, it fires. It, it never malfunctioned on me. But uh, this is what I was carrying, and I guess it's because I haven't shot a whole bunch through it. I'm not very confident in its abilities. Um, it's, you know, a 380 round, which I guess, um, it, you know, is just as deadly as any gun as long as the shot's put right. But the problem is, is if you look at this, the sights on this thing are just atrocious. You can't, you don't even really have good sights. So, uh, you know, I don't know. My confidence in this gun was not very high because, um, the sights are terrible and, you know, a, uh, a threat stopping shot needs to be well placed. And with these sights, I don't think I could do that. Um, at least, uh, not from a distance. Uh, so anyways, uh, I brought, got to thinking about what I usually carry and that's my 38 special, my airweight Smith and Wesson. It doesn't have amazing sights, but it has better sights than this little 380 does. Plus to augment it, I also threw a little laser for quick acquisition of close in type defense shooting. Um, it's not accurate to the sights, but it gives you an idea of where you're pointing. So, uh, and that's obviously in a 38 special plus P, these are spear gold dots. These, I have no doubts, will put down a threat. So, you have this. I don't know. Maybe we'll put down a threat if you can get a good shot in. Um, thick clothing, leather jackets, Carhartt jackets. It may or may not punch through it. I don't know. Uh, and then, obviously, my duty weapon is a Glock 35, 40 cal. Um, and I have no doubts in that. That I know I can hit. has great sights on it. Um, for me, at least, I enjoy them. I, I'm able to quickly uh, get my target and fire. Um, and, you know, if I need to conceal carry it, I can. Uh, I have my armadillo concealment inside the waistband holster, and it just tucks away. Uh, Full-size gun with a tack light disappears in your waistband. It's super comfortable. Um, and then for off-duty, I usually carry uh, my 38 and this little Galco uh, clip it, or inside the waistband. I clip in an appendix carry. And uh, super lightweight, carry a couple speed loaders with me, and I have no doubts in it. Um, so it's just one of those things is consider what you're carrying, what you can hit with accurately, because a lot of people get a 45 because it's a 45. Uh, you know, I'm a big proponent of what you can hit with accurately is the gun that's best for you. Um, if you're confident in it uh, and you train with it, I, th I think any gun or any weapon system can be used to defend yourself. But um, just think about what you're giving up when you get a little tiny mouse gun. Yeah, it's super tiny and concealable. I just carried this in my pocket. Um, but you're giving up sights, stopping power, capacity. Um, so this is my happy medium. Um, what's your guys' thoughts on this? And uh, thanks for watching. Ooh, no, no.